I've had a horrible week, but it was Auditor's birthday on the 1st of December, so life is good. Wait, wait, what? Are you telling me you've never heard of Chihaya Furu, the best manga in existence currently? You're saying you've never heard of this fantastic series? I've been a big fan of Chihaya Furu since maybe like my senior years in high school. And let's just say it's been a while since then. <laughs> but like, it's really held up. You know, it's th there are some things that I read back in high school or primary school, which when I look at it now, I'm like, wow, I'm glad I discovered it while I was 12 years old because I don't think I would have enjoyed these series as much. But Chihaya Furu, like I've only appreciated it more and more as I got older and older. Anyway, this, this series really changed my life. It got me doing a lot of stuff I hadn't done before. Like, nothing weird, you know? Nothing weird. Like, if someone says that after, like, reading Death Note, then you might want to be concerned for them. But Chihaya Food is different, okay? It's not a... It's an inspiring and heartwarming st story. Anyway, look, it inspired me to do, like, proper fan art of a series for the first time ever. Like, that's kind of nice, right? Like, I never drawn something this nice before drawing this. This is one of the best things I've drawn ever. I want to clarify, I'm not saying like, wow, I'm so amazing. It's just compared to the other stuff that I've drawn, this is this is pretty good. And then there's some other ones that I did. I went to Smash, which is like our Sydney Weeb Festival. Chihai Furu made that whole experience so much more fun because it's really hard to find fans of this show. But if you go to a manga and anime convention, you'll, you'll find people who know this and you can like talk with them about it and like fangirl over it and stuff. <laughs> ah! I met some really cool friends because I <laughs> This is so embarrassing. I I might have gone in cosplay. It was like my first cosplay and the wig I, I didn't do a good job with my wig and uh, it's, it's, Oh, it's so cringe. It's so cringe. It's so cringe. Oh, oh my god. It's it's let's not talk about it For people who don't know what this is. I'll, I'll give you like a, a quick rundown. Okay, so this series Oh, this is like a late chapter. Oh, don't want any uh, spoilers. <laughs> it's a cover. Why would there be spoilers? Oh wait, actually no, there's definitely a blurb here that I can't read because I'm not Japanese But if you do happen to be fluent in Japanese and you read this you might find out stuff. I'll censor this I'll censor this in case anyone reads it. This series is basically a dream for anyone who loves sports manga about obscure sports and also shoujo romance that has good characters in it and aren't forgettable <laughs> nothing has ever blended sports manga and romance in the same way that chihaya fudu has i'm so i'm so amazed that this exists that day when my friend gave me like 200 gigabytes of pirated anime was the best day of my life <laughs> don't pirate but like discovering chihaya fudu on that one terabyte hard drive was it was life changing so you might be wondering what is the obscure sport that Chihaya Furu is about. Well, if you haven't watched the Pro ZD video, I'll explain it to you now. There are cards, there are two types of cards, reader cards and like grabbing cards. And then the reader reads out the reading card. And then if the reading card matches a grabbing card that's in play, you have to go, you go. And then like, if you touch it first, you win. That's basically it. Shockingly, I feel like that was a really bad explanation of Karuta. First off, honestly, if you haven't watched that Prezi D video, it really sums up everything I feel about this series ever since I started watching it and been trying to recommend it to people. Only sometime this year, ever since I've been recommending this show for like four years, two people were like, yo, I started watching Chihaya Furu. It's so good. Why didn't you force me to watch it earlier? I'm like, dude, I tried. I tried, but it didn't work, did it? Trying to explain this show and get someone hooked on the premise is very difficult. Here's the pitch, okay? So Karata is a really cool game. If, if you like stuff like Jungle Speed, Speed, honestly, even Snap, you might like Karuta. This this game is based on an anthology of a hundred Japanese poems. Um, each poem is really cute. They have like a whole like story going on. If you watch the show, you'll know. And each of these poems have two cards that correspond to it: the reader card and the grabbing card. The reader card kind of has like the first half of the poem. 
and then the grabbing card has the second half. The idea is when the reader starts reading the first half of the poem, your 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 big your big brain will be like, wait, that car that poem corresponds to like this card, and you want to touch that first. Like in real life, you'll see like these guys are so fast. There are so many cards that you have to remember, and you have to like remember the position of all the poems. It sounds really boring, okay? But the point is, it's not all about the sport. This is also about the romance, the characters, the development, the strong senpai energy. Karata also resembles a game that I'm very fond of. Cards and speed and vibe remind me of Karata, you know? It's called Set. If you know me in real life, you've probably played it. It's a really fun and quick game, um, which I won't get into. We can talk about it later, but just know that you can play it for free online. So give it a go. I've got to say, the romance in this, top notch. Anyone who follows this series knows the love triangle between the three main characters is notorious. I say notorious, but it's just very polarizing. Like, there are two types of people in this world. People that ship Chihaya with Taichi, and people who are correct. No, I kid, don't cancel me. Look, if you, if you, chip, if you ship Chihaya with Taichi, wait, that's not Taichi, I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> I mean this. Okay, so if you, <laughs> if you ship Chihaya with Tai Chi, that's that's up to you. Like as in, who am I to tell anyone who to ship? Who is anyone to tell anyone who to ship? On that note, why are the shippers in this community, at least in the English speaking community, why is everyone so dang aggressive on the internet? I have talked a lot about why I love this pairing to people in real life, like my friends. I wouldn't argue online with with people about this you know at least i'd really try to avoid it is making a video on this love triangle a good way of doing that no don't come after me in the comments okay like ship respectfully i'm sure most of you like have no idea what i'm on about right now but like let's just say i've seen some intense i've seen some intense threads on this topic like a lot of a lot of strong language you know just be nice and I am a big fan of Arata. He also barely gets any screen time in the series, which is a reason why people don't really connect with him as a character, but I really, I really feel for him. So I really wanted to draw him in celebration of his birthday. That's what I do in this video. I do draw. It's coming up. Wait for it. Should I just do a fun portrait? Yeah, let's do it. I think a portrait would be fun. Not a portrait, maybe, maybe more than a portrait, but I don't know. Sketching is hard. I, I should get like a reference photo for this because I want to make this look actually good. That's kind of simple, right? Ah, Arata is so cute. <laughs> like, should I draw him actually playing Karuta? So ambitious. I'm so, I'm so seeps. <laughs> actually so seeps. I want to draw him like walking a bicycle along the seaside, you know? And like, there's an implied bicycle here. It's not implied very well. I need to draw a bicycle. But also... I'm thinking like something more abstract. So there's this whole thing about Arata being like water-like. How do I draw water? I don't know. But maybe flowers is better. Because flowers are cute. I haven't drawn Arata in a very long time. This looks very basic and decent right now. So I'm feeling like if I flip it, this will be a disaster. You know what? There hasn't been any big disasters lately with the flipping. It's so out of character. He's not, uh, he's not this expressive. Never seen him grinning like this, honestly. He looks like someone's holding him hostage. Please. This is more like him. <laughs> mm, he's very sideways now. <laughs> Oops. Hiya. Dang it. Okay. That'll be it. <laughs> Shall I do line art? Maybe. <laughs> Should I do line art? Are you serious, Eris? No. No, I should not do line art. What was I thinking? Look, the correct answer to that question is no. And for two reasons. The first reason is that the sketch that I'm trying to line at the moment is is a mess. Is an is such a mess. And I don't know how I didn't see it at the time, but Arata, his left eye is so big. It is so big. It is ginormous. Like the pupil of it. It's it's like taking up his whole eye and and his eyebrow is like way off as well and and his ears are like look this is why I have to flip my canvas 
like once every three seconds it's because left to my own devices i'll just i'll just draw something like this and be like nice i've done it like what and not only that his face his face is really wide i feel like his face is really wide you know what i mean very very long and not in a nice way <laughs> only the liquify tool can save me <laughs> but more importantly the second reason that i should not do line art is because almost every single time i try to line an illustration i just look at what i've done and i'm like you know what this wasn't worth it and i delete the whole layer and just start painting the sketch anyway so yeah guess what happened this looks very off indeed, <laughs> indeed. you know what Zigzagoon. Sorry, I just suddenly thought of Zigzagoon. And then the spirit of Zigzagoon possessed my body and made me say Zigzagoon. He looks so dead inside. It's creepy as frick. Ah! Ah, oh, it's so creepy. He stayed creepy for a very long time. I cannot count how many times I tried to draw his face and redraw his face and flip his face and transform his face until finally. Is this it? Is this the moment where it looks okay? <laughs> Please. Every single illustration I do is just me waiting for the moment where it becomes okay and it looks good. Art is a struggle. Wow, the sketch looks good now. Now I can just render. Painting is quite self-explanatory, isn't it? There's nothing helpful I can say about this part of the process. I could probably sum it up with like three words. Uh, gradients? Liquify tool? Overlay layers. That's it. <laughs> so, if I can't really talk about art, you know how I said earlier that arguing over the internet about ships is stupid and I would avoid that as much as possible? The fact that I brought it up already means that I'm, I might as well keep talking about it, right? Like just a little bit, just a little, just a choto, you know? Because while I was editing this video, I ended up just revisiting some of my favorite chapters from this manga and oh my gosh, my heart just exploded and I have a lot of feelings right now. <laughs> First thing I want to say, I don't know what I'm trying to achieve with this video, but if one of them is to get you to check out Chihaya Furu, just a little bit i count that as a success in saying that i just want to walk you through one of the biggest reasons you might want to follow chihaya furu okay and that is really for all you guys out there who really like sport manga and romance within sport manga like i tried to make that clear in the first part of the video but i don't think i made it clear enough it's it's literally the dream a dream come true like this is the romance you want to read what am i saying i don't know i'm just in love if you're like a big shipper okay in sports manga you know who you are, okay? Check out Chihaya Furu. Guaranteed enjoyment. Arata and Chihaya are one of the most compelling pairings in manga slash anime that I have ever seen. It's because for a lot of shoujo or even yosei or like most romance stories, such as Hallmark, like Hallmark movies, oh my gosh, Hallmark movies, you know, cheesy Netflix or romance novels, the romance is always so 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 in your face central to the story it's really hard to see the the main characters as characters outside of their relationship and it's really hard to strike a balance right a lot of slice of life anime i i find it i find that if it's not very centered on the main couple then there's a lot of like stuff that i don't really care about going on whereas if it's really all about the main couple such as kai chowa made summer right like it's it's too much it's a bit too much but the brilliance about this is that replace the slice of life with sport and <laughs> suddenly i'm very interested because i really love all the progressions of a sport anime i love seeing like for example in haikyuu don't you just love it when like when they figure something out about the sport they're doing and they like make progress or they overcome as a team in a competition or those moments where you see their hard work pay off ultimately i like seeing people be cool and sports manga is where you see cool people be cool but you also see them fail like but their failures is really what makes any of their victories like so much more satisfying that's the kind of thing i really like so combine that with beautiful cute interactions between two main characters and and seeing how their characters help each other and develop one another is just an absolute joy i think the manga is kind of it's towards its end it's towards the end of its life it is wrapping up and right now where it's at it's it's in a good place <laughs> it's in an exciting place so 
before it ends, you know, before it's completed, be one of the OGs. Check it out. Haiki, check it out. Not sponsored. This is an ex Weeb's honest view. It is the best for the genre that it is a sports romance. I was meant to write a comic. What happened? I started making YouTube videos. This is so dumb. Oh, yeah, I should probably talk about the image. Um, here's what it looks like. I like how his eyes turns out. Happy birthday to Arata. The last week and a bit, I've been. I've been feeling really dead being ambitious and stuff and trying really hard to like draw something impressive but just goes to show sometimes what you really need is to go back to your roots and see what really gave you passion in the first place. Chihayafuru really saved me again here. <laughs> Hopefully next time I draw something more than a portrait but saves. Oh well, maybe. Anyway, until next time, bye bye! <laughs>